Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to talk about primers for oily skin. So this is the second part to my series called Ballin' on a Budget. If you guys want to ball on a budget, you still want to look hella queen, hella on fleek, but you want to save that dollar dollar bill, just keep on watching this video and I'm going to show you some products that are very good dupes for a very expensive mattifying primer. All right, chicas, so today's all about primers, mattifying primers. If you're oily, watch this. If you're not oily, still watch this because you may have your best friend, your girlfriend, your hater, whoever that is oily, and you can give them this tip. So this is the primer that I'm going to be talking about, and I have another primer that I feel is a very close dupe for it. As you may all know, this is the Bega Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. So this is a product that I believe, in my personal opinion, I feel is a dupe for the Bega Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. This is the number seven beautifully matte makeup base. It stops shine for a matte finish and improves blemishes. As you can see just up close, the packaging is very similar to each other. So really quickly, let me just go over the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I'm gonna tell you why I love it. So first of all, this is actually a water-based primer, which is amazing if you are oily skin. And it is fra fragrance, fragrance, Free. Now the cool thing about this and I know other primers does this as well is that you can actually use it two ways You can apply it before your foundation after you've applied your serums or your moisturizers Or you can actually apply it after your makeup So if you are shiny throughout the day, you can just take a little bit of this and apply it to your problematic areas and you are done I actually have this primer on this side of my face and then I have the number seven on this side of my face so you really can't tell a difference. I really do love this product because it really does keep me matte. Now, it claims to minimize your pores and I honestly can say that that does not work for me at all. I do suffer from larger pores here, unfortunately, and there's nothing I can do about it. But every time I apply this, it absorbs into my skin like this. It mattifies it immediately. So what I like to do is I like to take my moisturizer, I like to set, let that sink in for a few minutes, then I will take the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer and I will squeeze about a pea size and I'll just dab it into my skin. Unfortunately, it does dry very quickly, so I do feel like it leaves my skin a little bit more on the dry side. If I am correct, this primer retails for about $36 or $38, which, which is actually pretty pricey if you ask me. I actually have had it for a few months and I I go back and forth in between this one and this one and I noticed one day I'm like these are very similar now the only difference is that when you apply this one this is more of a clear base uh, silicone it has a little bit of white but it goes more clear when you apply it onto the skin versus the number seven goes definitely it just goes white the consistency of them is very similar rubbing the number seven into my skin it feels a little bit more of a lotion type of primer but as you start rubbing it in it actually feels the same as the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. As you can see when I started to rub it it got a little bit flaky so this one as well you definitely want to dab it into your skin and not rub it because it will also flake. The Becca one as I start rubbing it again it feels very soft very velvety on the skin. This is also an oil-free base primer just like the Becca one. Now the price on this one depends on where you buy it. If you pick it up at Ulta, it's about $12.99. I picked mine up at Target a while ago and I believe I paid in between $7 and $10 for it, which is a lot cheaper than the Becca primer. As far as longevity, you know, as far as how long they keep me max, I would say they're really close hand in hand. I can wear the Becca one pretty much for about six hours until I start to see a little bit of shine come through. Nothing crazy where I feel like an oil slick, it's just the tiniest amount of shininess coming through and it also depends on the foundation that I'm wearing underneath. Usually if I'm wearing a mattifying foundation and then this will keep me matte all day, I don't even have to blot through the day. And this one as well, it's about six to seven hours in when I have to blot away. But I'm totally okay with that because for the price, I can totally just skip this one and pick myself up another one of these because they're just so similar and again the consistency of them when you apply them to your skin is just pretty much the same so yeah I don't know what else to say I hope you guys pick this one up and if you have this one 
you're running out, go ahead and pick this one up and let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this one better than this. Either way, let your girl know. Okay. I hope I covered every like little point that I wanted to talk about. If I missed anything, please let me know. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I hope I covered everything. But I believe that is everything for today's Ballin on a Budget video. If you guys are enjoying these videos, go ahead and give me a like because that helps me so much. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave because you want to stay updated with my amazing videos, right? I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you chicas in my next video. Mwah. Bye.